<laughs> what is a city? <laughs> you know, you look at a map and you say, well, it's obvious a city is just this bunch of buildings and there's a boundary around them and so on. Uh, but it's not quite so simple. The city has been compared to just about every complex system and some non-complex systems from, of course, organisms to beehives and anthills to ecosystems to machines, meaning, you know, big, complicated, engineered systems and even maybe to brains, so the informational systems. This is a great socioeconomic attractor and that's what a city is. It's a huge magnet that draws people in. I like the star as a metaphor for the city. A star is a nuclear reactor. It basically has an attractive force that compresses mass that leads to nuclear reactions in the center. The larger the star, the faster these interactions at the center happen. The same thing is true of cities. What you actually are magnifying is the rate of social interactions the larger and larger the city is. So I think we've been trying to use all these metaphors to get at what a city is as a whole but they're ultimately inadequate because uh, they are not cities. Cities are clearly living objects, so they are life. And in fact, they're the biggest form of life we have. So the question is, is it a very large organism in the usual sense, or is there something different? Well, to some extent, it is like an organism, and the infrastructure part of a city has much in common it has, you know, circulatory systems and uh, it has a certain kind of metabolism just as uh, organisms express an economy of scale. The bigger you are, the less work each cell has to do. Um, cities express an economy of scale. The bigger they are, the less infrastructure you need per capita. You know, in terms of its physiology and its life history, a whale is a scaled up human being, which is a scaled up mouse, which seems kind of weird, but it's true. So the question is, is New York a scaled up Los Angeles, which is a scaled up Chicago, which is a scaled up Santa Fe? Uh, we discovered, amazingly, that cities do scale. If I double the size of a city within an urban system, the average wage, the number of patents produced, the number of AIDS cases, the amount of crime, the number of hospitals, whatever it is that you can measure that involves human interaction, including even, whimsically, the pace of walking, all increase by approximately 15% every time you double. Per capita, you know, if you tell me the size of a city, I can tell you through these scaling laws what the length of all its roads is, how many AIDS cases, how much violent crime, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so that's kind of amazing that there's this kind of universal property of cities. So in that sense, they're not so different than organisms. So um, in what way are they different? Well, very few cities have died. And the most dramatic example is, you know, we've dropped an atom bomb on a city. We've dropped an atom bomb on two cities. You know, it was, uh, had a devastating effect, completely devastating, obscene effect. They're thriving major cities in the world. You know, you can, it's phenomenal. They're, the resilience is extraordinary. Cities embody really uh, everything about human beings. <laughs>